Welcome everybody to another video on CSS Grid. Today we are going to see how you can add empty spaces to your grids. So we are here in our small screen view and we defined our container to be 100% of the viewport height. So we actually use more space than what we need. So if this is all of what we need, and we defined it to be bigger because we want the footer to be at the bottom. So what Grid does when you uh, define something automatic is it's going to take um, the what you need in terms of height, but if your container is bigger than what you have, it's going to stretch everything. So the easiest way for us to actually add uh, an empty space is to just create and empty cells and you just do it by adding dots in your grid area so here this is an empty cell and we say it takes one fraction of the remaining space so basically all of our automatic elements gets um, reduced to what they need and then this one is actually a big big giant cell which is empty you can technically use whatever you want here. So for instance, you can use none, you can use empty or whatever, because you just don't define it, so it doesn't matter. Um, but it's really recommended to use dots because if you go here and use empty as well on another part of your grid area, this empty is not a rectangle and it's gonna break your layout. And if you go here and you use dots, it doesn't matter how many dots you have, it's going to work just fine. So yeah, that's it. We just added um, empty spaces. So in the next video, we're going to see how you can refactor um, your grid layout and see how easy it is and why grids are so awesome for that. All right, see you in the next video. Cheers.